All right, Shalom. First and foremost, I'm going to give our praise to Yahweh, Bahashim, Yahweh Shai, Bahashim, Rakakadash, the Rana, Zedel, the Prosper, Great Mill, Son of Tommy, Truth and Rule Well, Peace, Blessing, Salutation, I came out there, scattered abroad to a fork, middle of the earth, that's serving the truth and not truth and sincerity. To us, say Shalom. It's the Bell and the Bala coming to you in the video in the spirit. And the topic of this video is going to basically be about how the angel of the Lord comes around about them that fear them. Okay, and I'm going to grab that scripture later, but I just want to speak on the fear of the Lord real quick because I had, um, I recently experienced an incident, uh, with, with, uh, you know, somebody who I, you know, I grew up with, you know, you know, associate of mine where, you know, basically judgment was passed on him and I seen it, uh, firsthand and, and me seeing that, you know, kind of pit that reminded me of that fear of the Lord not saying that I don't already have it on me and I don't fear the Lord but it was just a remembrance thing with me of remembering the things that the Lord could do okay because the Lord is, the Lord is terrible okay and especially to uh to those who are not in the truth and those in the knowing so with that being said we got to always put ourselves in remembrance of fearing the Lord because at any point in time, you know, the Lord can choose to, to man, the Lord can choose to, to touch you any type of way he touch you. Okay, so I'm going to grab the scripture. This is Proverbs 1 and 7. It says, the fear of the Lord is the beginning of knowledge, but fools despise wisdom and instruction and kind. It says beginning of knowledge. Okay, so we're, we have the knowledge of oh how how the lord with some of the things the lord to do and the lord has shown examples you know especially in the times we're living today the lord you know is 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 has been showing his true power not not on the scale that we're going to see it but he's showing a little bit of his power and then i'm saying that to say that also with us being in these end times things are going to start turning up as well okay but what it say but fools despise wisdom and instruction fools despise wisdom and instruction so if you're not in the truth you know you're not trying to learn about the truth then you through and that's what i got from that because you know i consider myself to be in the truth which i am you know i, I call myself a man of the lord and to see how the lord did somebody who's not in the truth who don't know nothing about this thing at all was like a wake-up call you know, like a warning. I took that as a warning, whether it was whether it was for me or not. I still took that as a warning because, like I say, I I seen it happen firsthand, and I just I just seen what happened was uh, he had got in a car accident. You know, I was driving behind him, and I seen it happen. You know, in my own eyes, and it was like, damn, you know, that could have been me, or that could have happened to me. But what? Uh, the the angels of the Lord uh, came around right about them that fear them. Uh, I'm gonna grab that scripture. Because I'm not, I'm not doing what he's out here doing. Like he's like he's he's a nigga. I'm just plain and simple. He's a nigga. You know he's out here. You know, you know, indulging in folly and and, and living wickedly. It's, it's that simple. So, you know, the the Lord judged him for it. This is Psalm 34 and seven. It says the angel of the Lord and kept him round about them that fear him and deliver them kind. So, like I said, I was right behind him. So. The Lord still guided me through that situation. You know, he was able to let me maneuver and get through it and let me leave it untouched. And how much has that happened in, in numerous of situations? Okay. That's all. And us fearing the Lord is what? It keeps us. That's what I was going to say. It keeps us in line. Okay. When you fear the Lord, it keeps us in line. You know, it keeps you want to walk that straight and narrow path. Okay. But you got Jake out here who don't fear the Lord. So they, they think it's okay with still... Uh, came on the Dutchery, uh, smoking weed, eating pork, all these things that the Lord told us not to do. They think it's still okay to do that, and and that's why the Lord is starting to starting to starting to uh, judge Jake. The scripture talking about judgment should begin at the house of Israel. Now it's going to start with those who know their Israelites, and then it's going to start trickling down from there. Okay, so for the Jake who who don't know an ounce of what's going on, it's looking bad for you, and that's that's what I got from that. Like it's looking bad for you. But also, we got to make sure that we're keeping ourselves in line. Like, yeah, we're in the flesh. You know, we're you know we're we're gonna think about or do some little folly. You know, not going off, but do some little folly shit. But always remember that fear of the Lord. And it probably you probably think it's not even worth it. You're not even worth probably doing some little bullshit. You know that which is harmless. But you know it's some shit that you really ain't got no business doing or doing or don't need to be doing. 
and you, once you and you keep that in, in your mind, you know, you just you say fuck it and just continue to do can continue to do what you're doing and just stay out of the way and stay out of bullshit. Cause man, the Lord is not playing. Okay, and I know me personally, I'm not trying to give the Lord any reason to jack me up any more than than what I, he has done to me already and things he possibly might do to me in the future. Okay. Uh, and I'm going to grab this. This is Sirach 33 and 1. It says, There shall no evil happen unto him that fear of the Lord, but in temptation, even again, he will deliver him kind. So us that fear the Lord, the Lord willing, y'all will decide that no evil thing will happen to us. You know, the Lord... You know, keep the angels and kept around us and, and protect us from things, you know. You know, it's been times where you probably thought about doing something and going out somewhere and then you probably didn't even go. Then later on, you seen that some shit happened or you probably was at a particular event and then you left. You left it and then some shit happened while, while you was there. You're like, you don't know. We can't count how many times the Lord has delivered us out of situations. OK, one thing brothers have said that every brother have their own protective angel. Okay, that's 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 constantly with you. Okay, so you don't want to lose that. You know, we got to cherish that. You know, and that's something that I think about too. You know, that's why we got to constantly uh, pray to the Lord and ask Him for forgiveness and ask Him and ask Him for mercy. Okay, because we deserve it. You know, yeah, we're trying to re rehearse the righteous acts, but scriptures say our righteousness is as filthy rags. Okay. So we got to continue to walk that straight and narrow to the best of our ability and continue to keep that fear on us and then as, as do this as well. This is, uh, the second reading is five. I'm going to start at 10. It says, for we must all appear before the judgment seat of Amashiach, that everyone may receive the things done in his body according to that he have done, whether he be good or bad. Con. So we must all appear uh, upon that judgment seat. So we going to make sure that we have a, more good things in front of the Lord than bad. Okay. It says, knowing therefore the terror of the Lord, we persuade men, but we are made manifest unto Yahweh. And I trust also are made manifest in your consciousness. Kind of. So knowing the terror of the Lord, we persuade men. We have seen a judgment. Some of us. Some of us have seen judgment with our own eyes sometimes. So seeing that, what do we do? We try to persuade Jake. We try to tell Jake to get that shit, to, shit together. We try to tell Jake, you know, to stop fucking around. We try to tell Jake to turn turn to the Lord. How about you, why they why he may be found? You know, to stop, you know, stop smoking weed, stop eating swine, stop, stop committing adultery, you know, stop living the ways of this world, you know, turn your life around or, you, or, or you're going to be judged. Which ultimately will, will align you probably end up dying. Okay? Because the ultimate judgment is that nuclear fire. You know? And that's what we're telling we're telling Jake to get, get that shit together so you don't partake in that. Because that's going to be a very painful death. Okay? We're, we're talking about the Lord here. The Lord, yeah, the destruction is going to happen very fast. But the Lord can make that experience feel longer than what it is. So... You know, this is just another video, just to just for us, Akim, and for uh, and for other Jake out there who's listening and who's uh, who's inquiring. You know, get your shit together and don't play with Yahweh by Shem Yahweh Shai. So I'ma close up by giving our praise to Yahweh by Shem Yahweh Shai by Shem Rakadash Shalom.